Okay, to start the second part of our camping trip, we'll start off with the night skies that we got to see out on the cat trains when we were camping. So Rodney sent us a broken uh, Samsung phone. The screen was all cracked and everything. He said it takes perfect pictures in the night, so we're not sure how he knows that. But here we are going to the camp or whatever we're going to set up. And we took some still photos of the wood smoke and the exhaust from the welding sleigh just uh, hanging in the air. And then we used a flashlight to enhance the picture taking so we don't know how what the quality of this Samsung phone is and we're very very pleased that the details of this thing can capture as you stand there holding the phone very still as you freeze to death okay so we got everything going and we had a good night in the caboose so in the morning we got up about 5 30 and we started taking pictures as the sun came up so this is to document the cat trains when they used to leave Whoville here Pulling the D6 would be pulling what six sleighs, you know, 10 tons a piece. So that's a lot of weight. But now we're out here with only eight sleighs, four a piece, and we're documenting what the cat trains were like in the 1950s. So we're very pleased at the way these cameras are taking it. We have a Mi phone or an iPhone, we have an iPod, we have the Samsung, and we have the GoPro. So we're learning how to take these pictures. So it's best to start the second part of this camping video with an intro on the night, okay? Because we didn't do much night filming and such. So we'll finish out here with these slideshows documenting the sun coming up and we lucked out with a perfectly clear skies, but it would be even better if it was a full moon. And also too, that is a $42,000 promo bike. I paid a guy to build a custom Harley to market my books. So I cubed it because there was no VIN number, no paperwork and it was junk. So now we market it as a cube. And we finished out the evening watching Back of Beyond. So that's a good marketing thing for the fellows in Australia. Okay, we survived the night in the nice warm caboose there with the climate controlled. So now we're going to burn some bacon and eggs. Yes, we got everything going here. The biter is a little frozen from being in the cooler. And we have the travel suitcase for the eggs. That's the only way to go camping. And this wood stove put out a fair amount of heat. I filled it up uh, six hours ago, which is the same time I filled the welder. So it is six o'clock right now. There we go, six o'clock, 6 a.m. So it was 12 midnight when I filled the welder, filled the wood stove, and there's hot ashes left in here. And this caboose was about 30 degrees plus all night. And now the wood stove's died down. It's a nice temperature in here of 20 but it's hot up here and cooled on the floor okay and plus we got all the cameras and everything being charged and organized all right let's get going here on breakfast okay we have no idea how we're doing on cooking this year we got a full package of bacon the eggs are cooked and we even have eggs over here for me okay because we cook two of everything or a second meal and that's the dog so this will be the dog's plate right here and I'll take it back to the house to share with them. And the coffee sure does taste good in my perkless coffee pot. All right, I better get back to work cooking these eggs before I burn them. Okay, live on location. We camped last night with the D69Us, known as the Bismarck and the Hood. Okay, they were both underwater for three years. Once they started pulling good last night, the uh, injectors opened up and it was running smooth. The Hood... Last night in third gear, climbed a little couple of hills and then it smoothed right out on the sounds. But the Bismarck, it needs a little more good pulls and then it'll be all happy again. But you gotta remember, it's cold out here. Yes, all right, we're all live on location. As I said, we got the cats in the sleighs. We got up uh, last, early this morning to have a sunrise, which is over there. Okay, see it right there? All right. Okay, I don't know if we can see it, but those ruts in the snow, that's me on the snowshoes. Okay, let's try it here. Look at that. Talent, eh? So, I'm officially fat. The snowshoes couldn't hold me up on the sugar snow. Where is it? It's over there. Okay, so I just, it was pointless. I might as well just walk out there in my bare feet, okay? But we got the photos, we got the documentation of the cats and the sleighs, which we wanted, okay? I was smart. I slept in the first caboose here with electric baseboard heat. I went to bed at 20 degrees. I woke up at 20 degrees, okay? 
And the welder with the gas tank on it, we're filling it every six hours and it's supplying all the power. So every six hours, okay? So we have both cats plugged in for a start after lunch to go back to the kingdom. And the caboose with the wood stove, when at uh, midnight, it was plus 35 degrees in there. And this morning when I got up at five, the wood stove had died out, it was 20 degrees in there. So now if I slept in the caboose with the wood stove, I would have had to put shake and bake on my body and I would have been all crispy and roasted just nice, okay? Just like those people going to Florida, Hawaii and stuff to get a tan, all I have to do is sleep in a caboose with a wood stove. Yes, it's just unreal how uncontrollable wood heat is. You go to bed, you're all hot and roasty, you wake up, you're a frozen popsicle. So I like sleeping in the first caboose with baseboard heat. Oh, got a cough. <coughs> All right, this was a successful camping trip. We got some good film footage and our new friend there with the entertainment company donated those GoPros and we're hoping for excellent filming. We won't know till later this afternoon when the staff is sober enough to download the feed or whatever they say. All right, I want to go get some more pictures as the sun comes up because this is a historic event. It's only taken me 20 years to get two cats up and running that were underwater. We have all eight cabooses there, or sleighs, that looks totally professional. We still have two more back in the yard, so we could have had ten sleighs out last night, but that's called greed, like the new world we live in, where everybody is greedy, take all the money and run. Oh well, but we're having fun. Okay, I better get to work, the boss is coming.
okay I spent forty two thousand dollars on a promo bike to be down in Georgia to market my book series and not a Natalie series or the hot rod series of my wasted youth growing up in the mid 1980s so the bike was junk it didn't run didn't start had lots of flaws it didn't have any VIN numbers or paperwork so basically it was junk so making it into a cube which will include in this end of the video here which Sir Rodney did for me which was kind of nice and now we marketed the promo bike as a cube so now it sits on a sleigh and yesterday it was nice and sunny so we were able to get the GoPro set up to show all the shiny chrome that looks good riding on the sleigh that's 100% marketing so we took a bunch of lemons and made lemonade out of it I don't care about the bro guy who built the bike or what he does or how he continues on in business that's his problem if you build a shitty product like this or junk I don't know how you stay in business okay the staff was wearing nothing but black yesterday which worked out good because it was well white snow so we sped up the video to eight times I think it is for the trip through the yard but the whole idea of this video on the GoPro is to market the promo bike yes this thing is supposed to be selling me books not riding around in a sleigh at the end of the world okay so it's we made a mistake in putting the GoPro on a barrel because the barrel is jiggly wiggly so if this film was slowed down it would just jiggle a wiggle so speeding it up eight times works out good and there's the staff right there so now we have to wait for her to skidoo around you can see her in the far right of the screen and she'll skidoo, skidoo around oh these lips need some vodka she will skidoo around and get the GoPro I slowed it down so everybody can see her and that's about the only facial shot you'll get to see of the staff
Okay, I asked the staff the next morning to skidoo the cat train trails out of the kingdom. So here she is zooming along on her skidoo, and I think she's hand holding the me folk. I'm not sure, but the shadows from the sun being so bright, it kind of didn't make a, the camera work in the trees or whatever. So it's kind of blurry, but I'll let it play through because we want to document the narrowness of these trails. And I don't know how you'd say it, the amount of snow that's on the trails too. But she's going to come up to the area here. And she'll stop the skidoo and maybe zoom in, but way too much shadow. So that's why we don't like filming on a sunny day because of the shadows. We are not Hollywood production company. We don't have uh, film editing equipment that can delete this stuff, but it's just terrible. We prefer a non-sunny day to get the documentation of the cats and the sleighs. Okay, we're coming up to the 90 degree hairpin corners. We have two of them back to back. And this is where the staff parks her skidoo on the right hand side here. And then she usually walks to get the film footage of us coming through. But this is what I want to show. The cat goes along and then the sleighs makes their skinny skis, okay, which makes them rare. Everybody hates skinny skis for some reason. But skinny skis compress to make ice. And you can see the 90 degree curve or the corner we made here. The sleighs do not off track that much. It's only like a half a sleigh width over and that's the fourth sleigh back. So the self steering of the sleighs makes them follow in the same track and this is what we want okay so all the skis are following in the same track but the compression of the snow makes ice makes them easy to slide versus a wide ski so skinny skis till the end that's what i always say okay here's the camera from yesterday when we brought all the equipment back to the kingdom so we'll see how this records oh if you look us way back up here the back of the screen there i don't know if we can see it there we are they're coming with the deck sleighs so the staff has to catch up and get on her skidoo to get in front i'm wearing a hat today so it's not as shiny on the top of my head okay that worked out pretty good not sure what's happening here oh okay i gotta stop the video okay i restart the video because i got it uh, at 16 speed uh speed up i guess sped it up 16 times okay first time with the new lips here we are coming in the back here again, but this is with the cabooses and everything right there. So there go the zigzag, come into the yard. There we are, non-stop. And the staff is on her skidoo to catch up. Works out pretty good. So there she is. Now she's recording it. I thought we parked far enough ahead, but we didn't because we're blocking in the flag of exercise. See right there? We've got to keep him in the filming or whatever. All right, so there we are. So now she has to tell me to go forward a bit. Oh, my hand and eye coordination is not that good today with the camera here on the selfie stick holding it vertical. Maybe I need some more vodka or maybe too much vodka from last night. All right, so we unhooked the sleighs and everything. It's in the video we did, okay? So the foot, it was windy yesterday. We don't have little fuzzy things on our mics like Les Nessman and stuff like that because we're just new at this and we don't buy stuff that doesn't really work okay there the staff has to move the book burp so we can park the d69u known as the hood that way it's parked so it can plug in we're having a little safety meeting here and i think i go get the other cat the bismarck okay all right so here we go this is what it takes to put them away because we unhook the sleighs and split them apart we have to make sure they're parked correctly all right so they come trouble unhooking it and the staff has to come over and help me because I can't get the pin out. This one doesn't have the pull chains on the pins, so you can pull them out like easy. Okay, I think we're done for the day. We got to put some pails on top of the uh, cats. I think we're done. And we called it a day because we got to fill, edit all the film from the big camping trip. Okay, that should be enough for now. Okay, we're done for the day. It's coffee time. We put everything away. We got the stuff in the house put away, and everything's all lined up because we're going to go out again and film some more, but not with the cabooses and sleighs, just with the deck sleighs because we got to prove that the twins could actually pull sleighs, all right? So let's go drink some beer, relax, and have fun, and we'll talk to you guys later.